Hey, I'm Ryan from The Burnout Show, and today I'm gonna to show you how to install your camshaft and lifters on your engine. So I'm currently rebuilding my Chevy 350, and I'm doing a whole series on this channel about that process. So I've already got a bunch of videos about taking the engine apart, and a couple about putting it back together with more on the way. Uh, so if you're interested in that, definitely hit the subscribe button. But for right now, let's get to the camshaft. So it's actually relatively simple and easy to do. There's just a couple steps involved. The first being making sure your engine is at top dead center. So this step isn't actually necessary right now to install the camshaft, but it will become necessary when you go to install the timing gears, so it's better to get it out of the way now. But if you need help with that, there's actually a link in that corner that'll take you to one of my videos where I actually explain what top dead center is and how to find it on your engine. But with that said, the real first step is making sure you've installed your cam bearings. Uh, I actually had a machine shop do it when I sent my block out to get cleaned. Again, not super difficult. It does require a special tool for the installation though so that's why I just had the machine shop do it while they had the engine instead of buying that tool um, but basically you use the tool and you put the furthest back cam bearing in first and then you move to the front of the engine installing the cam bearings with this tool there should be five different cam bearings once you have your cam bearings installed then you can actually go ahead and grab your camshaft so there's actually a tool that you can bolt onto the front of the camshaft to make it easier for the installation. But if you don't want to spend the money on that tool like me, then what you can do is just grab your bolts and thread them in a little bit so that you can hold onto and push the camshaft in a little bit easier. Just kind of creates like a little handle for you basically. So the next bit you're going to need some rubber gloves for. You're going to want to get some engine assembly lube. My top end kit that the camshaft came in gave me a tube of assembly lube with it, but you might have to go out and get some engine assembly lube on your own. You're going to take the assembly lube and put a good glob of it on every single lobe, whether it's the bearing lobes or the actual uh, lifter lobes. And like I said, just put a good glob on it and spread that around and get that all lubricated. So the reason we need to apply assembly lube before we install our camshaft is because if we were to just put it in dry, then it would be exactly that. It would be dry for the first start of your engine and you'd grind up a whole bunch of stuff. The bearings would all get eaten up, the lifters would all grind down. The assembly lube gives the engine a chance to get the oil pumped through the engine and actually lubricate everything for the first few engine starts. All right, so once you've actually applied your assembly lube, you can go ahead and spread the lube all the way around the lobes. And this is what you need the gloves for. All right, so now that we've got the camshaft at the engine, it's time to go ahead and put it in. The only thing you gotta be careful of is to not push the bearings out as you're putting in the camshaft, and just to be careful to not scratch the bearings at all. You might have to uh, twist it around to push it through some of the bearings, but generally, it just slides right on in, especially if you get it lubed up enough. This is where you gotta twist and find the right position. And there you go. Now obviously that's not done just yet because we need to finish the uh, rotation placement and then install the timing gears, uh, but that's not for this video. This video is just showing you how to actually prepare the camshaft and get it installed just like this. Now we're gonna move on to the lifters. So the lifters are actually super easy. All you need to do is take your engine assembly lube from earlier, get some of that on here, and then spread it around. So once you've got your lifter lubed up, it's time to actually go ahead and drop it in the hole. Now sometimes this can be a little tricky uh, just because it can get a little stuck. You kinda need to get it at the exact right angle, but if you do it right, it just drops right in with a little bit of extra force. Now that's probably where the lobe is at, sticking up like that. But yeah, basically that's it. 
<laughs> you lube up the lifter and you drop it in. Like I said, it can be a little tricky. It can get kind of stuck. You just need to get it at the right angle and make sure it's perfectly straight and then you should be able to push it in with minimal effort. So that's basically all there is to it. Obviously you need to repeat the process for that one lifter for all of the lifters. But once you've got all that done, you're ready to move on to the next step, which should be installing the timing gears. Definitely stay tuned for that. I'll be making a video about that real soon. But like I said, that's going to be it for this video. Definitely subscribe and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. It really helps us out and it helps other people find these videos as well so that they can learn how to do these things. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped.